Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and my video today is another product pre-order from Stampin' Up! So we were able to order some more new product that's going to be available on June uh, 4th. That's one of the awesome benefits of being a demonstrator is we get our hands on this product earlier. Okay, so I'm going to start by sharing with you this pack of paper. This one was not on the pre-order before. It's, this is called um, Woven Threads, okay? So this is the first pattern, and that's the second. And this is the next pattern, and that's the flip side. And the next pattern, and the flip side. Those coordinate really well together. Uh, the next pattern, and the next one. Mm, those not so much, but that's okay. That'll be good for a card or a scrapbook page. And then here's the next one. And one more set. So this side and this side. Okay, so again, that is the Woven Thread Designer Series paper. Next, I'm going to share with you the Scallop Note Cards and Envelopes. Aren't these so cute? I love these cards. So anytime I can get pre-made um, note cards, I, I love them. Yeah, so what is that, five colors? Really cute. So envelopes and the note cards. Uh, the next item is the In Color Designer Series Paper Stack. So you guys know I've been saying that the Designer Series Paper Stacks that we currently have in our catalog is retiring. So we are getting new stacks, and we were only able to order the In Colors. So I can't wait to get my hands on the other ones, but uh, here are the patterns. So let me pick out the Purple Posy because I think that might be my favorite new In Color uh, and let me show you the patterns, although it would probably show up better on these other ones. So we've got the gingham on this side. Yay for the gingham. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that's that side. And then the flip side is this. So hopefully you can see that. Maybe I should show you the other color. And then we've got the script along with this design. So you get uh, four of each pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at the other color. It might show up a little bit better on camera. Okay, so gingham versus the other side. There we go. Okay. I'm excited about that. I love monochromatic. You guys already know that. Uh, these are the 2019-2021 in-color faceted dots. So... These are really big. Cute, right? The stamp sets that I got this time were Butterfly Wishes. Yoo-hoo! Love it. Over the Moon. I'm going to use this one today. So don't be shocked if you see something really quickly. Love it. Love it. Um, the next one is wo Woven Heirlooms. And I got this one because of the greetings. Um, lately, it seems like I've needed a lot of sympathy cards. And so this one's going to be perfect for that. Um, the next one is Parcels and Petals. And that has coordinating dies. And look how cute this is. Look at this. Okay. You can tell that's like a box, right? There's more to this thing. So here's the other side, okay? Let me get that back out of the camera view. And then this one's a hostess set. So yay, I love it, love it, love it. It's so cute. And then the last one is Delightful Day. So those are the stamp sets that I got. Now let me show you the new punch. This is, what's it called? delightful tag topper punch so i'm sure that's going to be popular next i'm going to show you the ribbon and the final thing i'm going to show you is this new stamp cleaner thing stamp cleaning pad that has everybody puzzled so i'm super excited to share that with you guys because i did already use it really quickly and i went ahead and opened the ribbon so this is the new in color ribbon and everyone's been wanting to know how easy is it to tie a bow so I figure, and I haven't done this off camera yet, so this is just me doing it now on screen. 
I suspect that this uh, ribbon is not necessarily for bow tie-in so much as it is for using like lace, okay? So you can see if you tie a bow, the back side of it uh, doesn't really have the pretty decoration. But what I've thought about using it is like, um, let me get my scissors and let me cut this. Let me show you what I mean. So you can use it like this. So like on this box, I brought it up at the top and then I tied it. So you could use this and then um, tie some linen thread around it, kind of like that, you know? The other thing you can do is use this as lace on your card. Look how pretty that is. So it's not necessarily maybe bow tie-in ribbon, but it's definitely worth a try, right? Especially the um, purple posy. <laughs> what is it with me? And I love the blue and the seaside and the purple. Okay, so these are the in colors. So let me get these back in the camera view again. Um, here are the five in colors, okay? Now let me show you the other ribbon that we were able to order. Um, the Mint Macaron, what is this called? Text, textile ribbon? Yeah, textile ribbon. So it has a little sheen to it. I've almost unwound the whole roll there. I love how small it is. So it's not too big, not too little. This one is the organdy striped ribbon. This is really soft. This is going to make a beautiful bow. In fact, let's just make one real quick. Oh my gosh, it just ties bows so lovely. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? What is this called? This is Petal Pink um, Organdy Ribbon. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, the next one is this Lace Tram. And then the final ribbon is this Sahara Sand Woven Threads Tram. So again, this is Tram, you know, not, not bow tie-in ribbon, but Tram. Okay, the last item I'm going to show you is the stamp cleaning pad. And I want to read the instructions because I want to make sure that everyone understands what this really does. It removes ink from rubber and photopolymer stamps. Warning, to avoid damaging your photopolymer and cling stamps, use water to rinse the cleaning solution from the stamp as soon as possible. So I have my stamp. That's why this is being filmed last is because I want to go wash it with water as soon as I'm done. So this removes the excess ink from the stamps. Uh, you can see that Bella and Friends has had a lot of love and I have cleaned this uh, with my Simply Chamois. You can see that it's already been cleaned and all the ink that can come off with the Simply Chamois has come off. So what this does is it actually takes the, the extra ink off of here, okay? So I've got myself a dry cloth. Uh, when I go to Ikea, I always pick up a couple extra of these things. They cost 79 cents, and I cut them into pieces. Um, this is like maybe an eighth of it. Um, anyways, because it says down here is that you want to wipe it dry, wipe the stamp with a dry cloth, after you remove the ink, okay? So what we're gonna do is take the stamp cleaning pad and I'm just going to, I wanna make sure you see how dirty that is. It is stained. It could be more stained, but um, in my book, that's pretty stained. <laughs> I think my old Lovely as a Tree set is probably the most stained step, stamp set I have. Okay, so I'm just rubbing this on here I think you can already see that the ink is coming off, right? Now this solution in here, it's not water. So be careful with it. I don't know what it will do uh, with our gel nails, um, our gel polish. Okay, so I, don't, I can't really show you a before and after picture because, well, I should have taken a before and after picture, right? But you can see now that it's it's pretty clean. I think if I wanted to get it even more cleaned, I could come back in here again and clean it some more. 
This item will be available on June 4th when the annual catalog goes live. And uh, if you have any other questions, you know, reach out to me. Stampin' Up! has said they're going to do some more training videos. Look how clean that is. Looks pretty perfect, right? Now, I'm going to go upstairs and wash that with water, just like the instruction says. Okay, so thanks so much for watching my pre-order haul video. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.